Oh boy. Hello everyone. It's me, Firefly. And this is Amnesia, a machine for pigs. We saw some pigmen, or what looked like pigmen, in the last episode. And now we're gonna go, I think, through this vault. Yeah, I already played that, so... Let's see. I'm gonna try not to get scared, but... I feel like that's inevitable. I have no idea what I'm gonna do in here. Oh. Okay. Oh, okay. Nice. And I think this one. No? Maybe... On. Here we go. Hmm. Maybe... Oh. Okay. That's... Oh. This oddly looks Irish to me, but it's probably not. What's this? Oh, she's got a titty out. There's a lot of titties. Flood breach emergency shutdown in place. So we were up there. And I think... Oh, butts. Maybe we're here. Or we're there. I'm not quite sure. Ooh. Hmm? Nothing. This looks like a little... Oh! I could turn that on. That's cool. Okay. Well, let's go see what is straight ahead. Nothing. Let's go over here. <laughs> oh! The collar, the neck, the noose. From the window, he could see almost to the docks, where they were still pulling hair out of the gratings. God knows what it's about, says the paper boy. The talk is of murder. There's some murder going on? Oh! Oh, what's this? A hidden house beneath a house? And a machine? I saw that! I saw you. The factory offices. All the suggestions of a large workforce, yet no actual signs of life. It is every bit as if someone has attempted to carefully create the illusion of a working factory complex, yet this facade, when examined closely, is clearly just a falsification. But I must put aside my anxieties, quell the unease that pits my stomach, and continue on my path. Yeah? I have such visions to share with thee. If my jaw be unshackled and you harvest the crust from my eyes. Uh. Make it clean, Magnus, that my thoughts and words can unfouled be. I don't know what that means. Your mouth is already clearly unshackled. 
if you can talk. Just want to point that out. Great. Music. Oh, I have an extra shirt. Ooh. May 1st, 1899. But then, what if they could stand upright and walk as men? What if the brute were harnessed thus? Would they sing? Would they find their own god? I have seen these things, and I will tell you now, no. No, they will not. But they will happily accept fealty to a god thrust upon them, and worship it thus given. In this, I realized, they are no different to the masses. They are much the same as us. Once this irrevocable threshold is passed, I understand that we too are shackled and must be set free. To free the man, we cut the man. In order to cross that great evolutionary line, it must first be painted upon the ground. Wait a minute. Are we turning pigs into people? Is this what's happening? Oh. August 2nd, 1899. In America, they talk of building their cities to the skies. To me, this seems folly. But perhaps it is simply a case of a nation founded without a history of its own. We walk upon our histories. They are compacted into the very loam beneath our feet. The engineers we employ talked of this. They talked of how, when the building underground trains, they would often come across older tunnels, crisscrossing the capital. What places lie buried beneath us? We are digging, digging, excavating, and reappropriating what we find. At the center of the planet, my architect tells me, there is a great iron ball. It is the egg of the world. Nah, I think... I think it's... Oh! I was gonna say, I think it's... Oh, what? I have that caught me off guard. <laughs> Who's keeping teeth and glasses? This looks like a joke shop, but it's gross. Um, yeah, I think it's like lava. That or it's Brendan Fraser's, uh, you know, center of journey to the center of the earth. Is that Brendan Fraser's? I think it is. I'm not too sure anymore. But we got a bathroom in here. Oh, we're back outside. Okay. October 11th, 1899. We integrate the very latest knowledge of chemistry using low levels of elodrum derivative in feed to subdue the product even before the initiation of the process. This means that when we drag them from holding pens onto the line, they are less likely to panic and damage machine components, other products, or themselves. This section of the belt is sheathed in rubber and kept well lit to maintain good spirits, and we have actually found that the intelligent placement of gramophones and simple acoustic ampli amplification tubes around the line mean we can use music to further soothe the product. We find Debussy particularly effective in this regard. The Debussy. Are you saying the pigmen like music? And... Ooh, warning! Fueling pumps? Volatile chemicals are in use. These materials are highly corrosive. Wear protection. Does that mean if I put some Debussy on, they're not gonna hate me? Ugh. 
I hear pig noises, I swear. Truck fueling station. Pumping station. It appears to be some kind of fueling station. I have seen automobiles demonstrated at Mr. Yarhim and Mr. Simon's works, but the smell here is all wrong. This is not petroleum. Of that, I am sure. Everything suggests to me that this machine must be significant in some way. Truck fueling. So uh, maybe I need a container. I don't know what for. I don't know what I'm fueling. Uh. Hello. Why can I? Why would I want it? Oh! Oh my God. Oh god. I don't wanna- oh there's a note. September 28th. Imagine, they say, a machine one day that might think like a man, as if this is to be desired. One might almost boast of creating a man who breeds like a pig. Men and women upon all fours, rutting carelessly. Oh, God. Ejaculating their filthy little missives into the streets, alleys, and gutters, running freely with the careless spill of their conjoinings. The air thick with the whimperings of lust, bodies streaked with their own emissions. We have created a world where man is so utterly debased he will spray his seed over passers-by. <laughs> And yet, this is the condition Babbage aspired to. No, this is not the machine we seek. Such an entity should be nothing less than a deity, and we should fall upon our knees and worship it. We shall not carve gods to bicker and fornicate. They will exist to clean the world and set us free. I reject Babbage as I reject these men of government. Let the pigs copulate in the gutters whilst they can. We shall scoop them up and ease their ascension soon enough. That's weird. Why would you want that? I don't. I don't think I want that. I don't think I want people just spraying stuff willy-nilly. Ugh. Who wants to be lusted? Who has time for lusting? Do I need to crouch? Oh, I don't like this. Great. This is nice. Opened a shortcut, I guess. Am I gonna learn my lesson here? Oh. Hello? Hello? Strangers not allowed on this works. Inquire to be made at the lodge. Well, I think I own this. Whatever this is. Oh, a memento. Holy orders. This church is connected to the plant. How odd. 
However, it does suggest another route into the main part of the facility, given the locked doors around the fueling station. The truck blocks my way, however. Almost as if the saboteur knew that I might consider this alternate entrance. Oh, and there's a note. Delivery schedule. How in blazes are we supposed to meet these damned schedules if even the basic equipment we are provided with simply will not perform its designated function? These cursed new fangled trucks will only run a fraction of the distance my old nag managed before running out of the stinking gasoline. The gaffer says it's fine and there's plenty of pumps to refill them outside the factory walls, but you end up dragging a blessed tank from the truck to the nearest one to refill it, and the one in the storeroom is empty again. I can't be turning that crank handle all day only to find the tank is empty. Well, sod it, says I. Enough for a night and to my bed I go. It's not like anyone needs access to the bleeding graveyard anyway. Harry, if you get this, I'll meet you in the Damson Templar for a jar. We're going to the Damson Templar, I guess. To collect- Come on, Papa. Let's climb this one. I can see more pictures at the top. What are we climbing? I was just saying, I, I think we gotta go there to get a jar. Oh, maybe here? Meal processing factory. What is that? Oh no, there is pigmen. God damn it. You know, I think I'd rather stick to the brutes. I don't want to run into a pigman. They're gonna scare me. <laughs> Even though I chose to play this game. Fuck that. Really? Oh. Don't. Stop. Stop that. You stop that. Just trying to try and do my job. I don't know what my job is. But oh, I'm scared. Just trying to do it. The job. What's this? A strange container. This canister looks as if it may fit the fuel pump I saw earlier. It certainly carries the same fetid, unholy reek. I will not think of that which I saw pass me in this its cage. I will not gaze again into that dark machine room. A more immediate task presents itself, and the opportunity perhaps to gain access to St. Dunstan's. Oh, I'm sorry, was something looking at me? What the fuck? What was looking at me? You know what? I don't want to know. Oh. Give me that. Leave me alone. I don't know who. Who's out here? Don't do it. Don't do it. I'll tell you what. You're giving me music I don't want. Just trying to fill some fuel.
a fast getaway. Dear sweet lord of all that is good and holy, I must make my escape. Grasp this container in its putrid conscience and flee this place before that creature, that nearly man returns. I will head for the church. Surely such an abomination could not follow onto hollowed ground. Give me it. I gotta... I gotta fill it all. Get the fuck away from me. No. Don't look at me. Don't look at me. Where do I put this? Here? <laughs> Where's the fuel? Here. Do something. Where do I click? Hello? Duh. Almost. Oh! Do I have to crouch for this? Huh. It's not working. What do I do? What do I do? Do I go maybe this way? Oh god, it's a crank. Closing this. You can't come here. This way, Papa. Come and see. Will it hatch? Can we take it home? Yes, my darlings. Of course we can take it home. What are we taking home? I don't want to take it home. I ain't taking shit home. Oh my god. Jesus loves me, this I know. For the Bible tells me so. I don't know. <laughs> Just singing that because it's from Bioshock. Oh god. Livestock and Bibles. The wires came up out of the ground whilst he lay on the grass asleep. Like serpents they were. And they burrowed, burrowed into his ears and became his listening. Nasty. Inside of St. Dunstan's. We sat here, I remember. We sat in our black, and we mourned and we prayed, and we bowed our heads. How I hated God then. How I spurned him. If this is our Lord, this pig who robs me of my wife, even though I'm a creep and I watch her through my dad's creepy little house mirror windows, then I refuse his embrace. I will carve a new god for us all. Such madness. Such a fool I was. If such blasphemous ravings have remained within me, I would be doomed. But even here, I feel the machine throb beneath the flags, and I know my path awaits me. How about no throbbing? How about that? How about just no. No throbbing.
I'm gonna open these doors, so if I need to run, I'm running. Oh, stop it. Stop breathing. Hmm. Boop, boop. Another Biblia. Get. November 23rd, 1899. Twin candles bent to the will of the central saint, casting their light to the corners of the chapel. Father Jeremiah, one, or Father Jeremiah and I, thought could be trusted with the secret, but he is like all the others. So the old priest has gone to the holding pens with his flock. He says he will enter into our world with them. A shepherd indeed. What if I got a chair? Can I throw a chair? Fuck you up. See? Look at that. You don't wanna you don't wanna become this. Oh god. This is why I eat bacon. See? This is what happens when you don't eat bacon. Oh, when you don't eat bacon. They start to rebel. Yeah, they're cute, but someone's gonna turn them into humans. Scaring the shit out of me. God. Let's listen to this. Your faith shackles your vision, Professor. It is an iron coffin that keeps you from grasping the future. We require a new deity. Tactical a repositioning. Steam on the wheel of magnetism and progress. The old god is nothing more than a lame hog, spitting back awful at mankind. Yeah, well. I don't know what to say about that. Oh! No! Oh, that was a person. What's this? Oh, it's a candle. And a note. Father Jeremiah's journal, October 1st, 1899. They flock to us now, where once I had to walk amongst them, to bring salvation into their lives. Now, drawn by warmth in winter, by the food that man distributes, I can't talk. My church is full and my charges are saved. He walks amongst them and they almost worship him. He will not allow them to work in his factories, claiming that his workforce are especially trained for the new machinery he uses, and that it would be irresponsible, nay, unethical, to risk such precious lives as he sees here. A changed man since Mexico. It is to be praised that in the face of such appalling tragedy and from the confines of his sickbed, as he is often chained to, he conducts one of the greatest and most benevolent charities in all of London. Not content with the rise to become the dominant food produce business in the land, he distributes his goodwill his fares to the poor, and they congregate about his kingdom in gratitude. Yeah. That's what's happening. Fuck! Who's playing the organ? Did 
to dust. Oh shit, here we go. Oh. There's no one up there, it's a ghost. No way. Really? Oh, I know where this is. I know exactly where that is. Oh, it's scary now. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. I have the peace. Fuck was that? Oh, I unlocked something. A furnace! Gotta heat up London. Infernal machinery. The engine fires. The flames are stoked. I hear steam in the walls. Vibrations upon the very air. My heart falters at the prospect of throwing the lever and exposing the workings of this dark contraption. But my children beckon me on and I cannot fail them. I did it anyway. <laughs> A hellish portal. It appears I have no choice. Thus I descend and may God have mercy upon my soul. If this is my bed lamb and I am to be cast as Matthews, then I will wear that mantle for the sake of my boys and face whatever horrors lie beneath the altar. Do we have to? Do I have to? I guess so, but we're gonna do this next time. Ha -ha. Thank you everyone so much for watching. I'm Firefly, and this is Amnesia, a machine for pigs. Good night, be safe, and cast on. Bye!